Hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you some of my other observations and discoveries after watching the video Consciousness and Personality from the Inevitably Dead to the Internally Alive. Almost at the very end of the program, Jana says that people spend a huge amount of time on TV shows, on idle chatter and on all other kinds of such rubbish. And you know, I would like to confess to you, I'm just... It's terrible, but I'm a very big fan of it. Well, it's not me, but my consciousness. It was and still is a very big fan of all kinds of TV shows and serials. And, you know, there was such a moment when consciousness told me, I'm tired, I need my brain to rest. For the record, I clean houses, my brain does not strain in the process. All work is purely physical and is the same. So it starts like this. I'm tired, my brain is tired, I'm tired of thinking, I need some distractions and entertainment, I need to watch a show. And you know, it feels like there you are, staring at the screen, and you're sitting like an, a whiteout, right? And also, there was a moment when I was doing meditations, my consciousness always says, your hand is relaxed, your leg is relaxed. I invested my attention in the whole thing all the time. And then when I'm watching the show, I suddenly realize that my mouth is open and I'm so deeply in it. I am so absorbed by all that. And that my attention is just... While attention, as we remember, is a very important aspect of our personal development. So I'm just totally there in the show, in this and I don't even feel my legs, my arms, my breath. I'm absolutely not distracted by anything. And so I started to wonder, well, what the heck is going on? What's the catch here? What's that hook? Why am I sitting there in all that and waste my precious hours on all this 16? And most importantly, consciousness tells me you don't have time, you can't watch the program that lasts 12 hours. But I want to confess honestly and frankly, I spent 16 hours to watch a show from the beginning to the end, just non-stop. So I just sat down and flushed 16 hours down the toilet. And so my remarks after watching this serial, it was a serial about maniacs and murderers, so creepy. I noticed such a thing. It made me afraid to walk my dog outside at the night. Well, just to open the door and let it out, because my mind started to imagine scary stuff, like there's a maniac sitting behind a bush and all that. I also noticed that my consciousness really likes shows where people transform themselves. And I decided, okay, then I will look at it from another angle. And I saw, guys, honestly, that without inner change, without knowledge, without understanding, who I am, changes are not possible. Yes, outwardly, they can brush, shoe, dress, teach consciousness some new word, make it read books, but without fundamental knowledge. It is practically impossible for a person to change. Well, from my experience, I would like to tell you, while I did not know who I am, yeah, I thought that all this is mine, thoughts, emotions, body needs, all sorts. I thought it's all me. I want all that. I hate someone. I want to abuse someone. But when I started to write a diary, by the way, yes, there's my friend here, my diary. My consciousness disliked it terribly to keep records in it. When I started to keep a diary, to write down honestly what's what, I realized that it's not me, it's not me, it's someone else, that it's all not mine, that my consciousness is always lying. And so it has such a major lie that you don't have time for anything at all. You're so busy, you're just... What books? Come on. Guys. To tell you the truth, I work half a day, and it tells me I don't have time. And when I begin to catch on what's consuming my time, to browse Instagram, to watch TV serial, and when it all adds up in this precious minute, and I see where my attention is leaking to, not inside, not to the soul, 
I'm not directed to the spiritual world. That's when I got scared. And I saw that I'm just wasting away my life for such garbage, for the tricks of the system, for illusory worlds that do not even exist. And it's so interesting that I'm really worrying about those serious characters which are not even real. I swear at them because of how they behave. Can you imagine what an illusion and self-deception it is indeed? And I got really scared. I'm thinking, well, how? I'm just sitting. I see all that. Someone is grumbling inside me. Blah, blah, blah. The other one gets irritated. And of course, it's dangerous. Of course, it's unpleasant. But what prevents me from redirecting all this attention to where I should redirect? That is into my soul. What does it cost me to direct my attention to the spiritual world and to cognize myself? To spend this half an hour reading a book, it might as well be a religious one to read a prey, to watch a program, watch some good program, scientific and educational. For example, to write down the same thought for 15-20 minutes. This is very simple. Really? Because when you realize this, and yes, this is one more thing to mention. My consciousness told me, when Jeanne in the program talked about the need to take control of one. Or Igor Mikhailovich on Jana's words about vanity and everyday routine. Such a thought crossed my mind that what, should I give up everything? All my pleasures? And the fear, you know, such a fear attacked me. And the next thing followed, I've worked so long for this, for this freedom, and now they take it away from me? In other words, consciousness took control over me as a personality and called this evenless a freedom, roughly speaking, right? It's like a paralytic. You're sitting in front of TV with your mouth open, saliva flowing out. You're watching those endless shows and serials. And that's freedom? I do not want such a freedom. I want real spiritual freedom. When consciousness and the system have no power over me, when they are under my control, when I live in peace, in God, in love, in that joy which comes from being. What could be better than that? When thoughts have no power over me, they fly in, they never say anything good, they are constantly turning me against other people. But when I turn to the kind and warm, and I have inside, then I don't care about thoughts. I don't care what they bring me. Everything disappears. They remind only I and love that is inside me. Therefore, the daily choice is very important as well as honestly towards yourself. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Please do not waste your time for nothing. Spend it on something that you need to spend it. Just as your attention. Thank you.